painting is inspiring. and you mix your paint thin enough so that when you put it down and blow at it with a straw, it will move and make a lot of random shapes and then you let it dry and you can paint eyes right on it or you can paint some separate eyes and cut those out and glue them on and you can use felt pens to connect different parts if you want to make something that has arms and legs instead of like an octopus, this is just all one piece. But you could make separate pieces and then connect them. You can make fish. I brought some books of different cutout animals and fish, the kind of deep water fish with big teeth and big eyes, kind of underwater monsters. And then you can paint on top of the dried paint too or use colored pencil or magic marker.